Jesus said, I am the true vine. Welcome to the True Vine Prayer Station. You're encouraged to read John chapter 15, verses 1 through 8, and reflect on God's word. Jesus says, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. And he removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered and thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you may bear much fruit and become my disciples. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we think on these words of Jesus from John chapter 15, we think about what would help us strengthen our connection to the vine. We have these green leaves and invite you to think about what would help you. What would help you strengthen your connection to the vine? And in this prayer station, we wrote those answers on green, lush leaves and connected them to the vine. Some of the answers that have been shared are, what would help me connect to the vine is prayer time in the morning, opportunities to be still and know God. Jesus also said that whoever does not abide in me, the branch is thrown away and it withers. Because, friends, without proper nourishment from the true vine, we will wither and fade. And so on these brown leaves, we are invited to write down what is distracting us, what is distracting our focus or pulling us away from the true vine, what is trying to detach our connection to the true vine. In these words, Jesus also said that uh, the vine grower prunes the branches in us that are not producing much fruit. What branches in your life need to be pruned? We think about these things and then we throw them symbolically into the fire. so that our connection to the true vine is strengthened. Abiding in the vine. Staying connected to the vine. As we think about how Jesus is the true vine that our branches uh, are connected to, spring forth from. We ask ourselves, what spiritual nutrients do I need from the true vine? What is it that I need in my life? What can Jesus, who is the true vine, what can we pray to Jesus and ask him to give us? Is it understanding? Is it hope? Peace? Forgiveness, encouragement, support, affirmation, healing, honesty, wisdom. You think about these, and Jesus tells us to take what we need. 
Our true vine gives us the nourishment that we need to strengthen our branches, to strengthen our connection, to grow in our faith, and to bear much good fruit in the name of the Lord. Amen.